this week, I have two movies that are already out on streaming, so you can watch them from the comfort of your home. The first is Big Time Adolescence, and this premiered at Sundance, and it stars Pete Davidson as what I assume is just Pete Davidson. It follows him and his friendship with, or his character, we'll say his character's friendship with a high schooler. Uh, he plays the the ex boyfriend of this high schooler's older sister, and the he and this young high schooler like strike up a friendship that lasts beyond the scope of the relationship between the high schooler's sister. But, but whatever, they're still friends. It's weird. They're like six years apart. It's uncomfortable in some senses. Let's let's keep in mind like you are watching this in a different world than. You wa- we would you would have watched this in previously, you know. So um, it, Pete Davidson is surprisingly watchable. Like it, he, he, there's something about him, I think, that the reason he's been on Saturday Night Live so long, and the reason that we continue to pay attention to him, is that he does have that je ne sais quoi that makes you continue watching him. He kind of seems ash holeish, but actually he's kind of sweet. He, he walks that fine line between the two, and so if you're willing to sit there for a clean ninety minutes and just watch him be him and watch some like kind of hijinks happen in like kind of a, a sweet but a little weird relationship a friendship you know between two guys like this might be the movie for you it's it's certainly a distraction there's a bit of substance to it it's it's, it's not like a heavy watch we're, we're gonna get what we're gonna get these days and independent of that i think i would have said like this is a pretty decent like at home watch so it's perfect that it is already out on streaming i believe it's on hulu yeah he I, basically he's not acting as far as i can tell it doesn't seem like he's acting but again still watchable there are some like weird funny jokes i appreciated the cast is rounded out by griffin gluck who plays the younger um guy he befriends named the characters named mo sydney sweeney john cryer is in it overall i think it's perfectly watchable and enjoyable i thought there would maybe be more laugh out loud moments but i think it's more of like chuckles to yourself and that's totally fine i think humor is much needed these days so i'm gonna give this one 3.7 out of 5 the other film i have this week is going to be a little tougher to palette right about now it's called swallow and it stars Haley bennett and she plays a pregnant housewife who um develops P- pika pika it's, it's a disease that um makes you want to c- compulsively swallow inedible objects independent of the safety involved and, and so she plays this like housewife kind of trapped at home her I, I was like this movie should probably just be called trauma she is is living with her husband who is just a total asshole and his family are assholes and they think throwing money at every problem is totally going to be the solution to everything and that part was really frustrating to watch also i'm going to warn you like this this movie has some pretty tough scenes if you're like squeamish like me and you don't like surgeries or the, you know blood or any any of that stuff um i think she does a very good job during it it's it's also a pretty short film it's only 94 minutes but i feel like it traverses a lot of territory in that time uh, i wasn't really sure where it was going for the majority of it and i don't know if it's the cleanest plot and the cleanest character development but the fact that it was there and that i went on this journey with her and for again for the constraints of hey you're gonna see this from the comfort of your home i think it's well watchable is tough it's it's gonna be challenging but i think if you are in the right frame of mind and you feel strong enough and healthy enough to watch it like it's worth a watch i will say like i really loved um dennis o'hare shows up at a certain point and he he's only in it for a little bit but his acting chops are just crazy like you know he just like turns on a dime and it's so impressive to watch and and there were some cathartic moments for Haley bandit's character that i appreciated it might make you feel a little extra stir crazy if you are currently you know like the rest of us cooped up but uh there there's hopefully some hope at the end of it yeah I, either way, um, this one is a this one is a, a recommendation with caution. Uh, in that you need to definitely be ready to watch this movie. If any of the things I have described uh, sound triggering to you, then maybe stay away from this one for now and watch it. You know when you're allowed out in the world and can parse this and deal with all of this. Uh, yeah, but overall, I'm going to give it 3.8 out of five.